Hello dear friends, this is your old Humphreys. I'm so glad that you've tuned in with me again for a word from the Lord, a 10 minute message that I bring to you right here from my study. I pray God to bless it as it goes out all over the world. A 10 minute message that might change your life. I want to speak to you on the fact that the impossible can become possible. The impossible can become possible. When we deal with God, we're dealing with it and with possibilities. There are no impossibilities with God. Whatever you're facing today, however difficult it may seem, it seem, might seem that there's no answer to your problem, but there is an answer, and that answer is with God. You must learn to trust the Lord Jesus. You must learn that we get to God through Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. The reason for that is he's the only one that paid for our sins. He went to that cross willingly. He was innocent. He had no sin, but he was he was accused unjustly of being the Son of God. And he was the Son of God. And he died upon the cross, but he died for our sins. And he paid for our sins. For the Bible says that somebody has to pay for them or we'll never get to heaven. Blood has to be shed for our sins. And so Christ shed his blood on that cross and he'll save you forever when you believe in him as your Lord and he'll make the impossibles become possibles he'll make the impossibility becomes become a possibility I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you're not sure that you know Jesus and that you're you're not sure you're going to heaven pray a prayer like this and mean it from your heart for the Bible said whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I repent of my sins. I praise God. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that. And you will know, you will know that the impossibility can become and will become a possibility for you. You're born again. You belong to God. You're now His. Trust Him and let the joy of the Lord be your strength. In every time of trouble, know that He is your triumph. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in Christ. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Find your good church and go to it. Worship with God's people. And then Read your Bible and pray. Let God be your strength every day. Bible teaches that we can we see we can do the impossibility. Are you are you uh, in a place where you can't find enough money to pay your bills and you don't know how you're going to get by, Christian? Let me tell you, God performs miracles and He's going to perform a miracle for you. You're not going to go hungry. You're going to make it. Jesus was on the Mount of Olives <clears throat> facing 5,000 men besides women and children. And they said, the disciples said, well, you've talked to them a long while here, but you've talked to them the word of God, but uh, they're uh, hungry. It's getting late. They better go find food somewhere. And Jesus said, you feed them. And they said, well, we can't feed this bunch of people. It'd take them more money than we could ever have. Jesus said, take the lad's lunch, five pieces of bread, two fishes and he divided them up into twelve pieces of fish and twelve pieces of bread put them in a basket and gave it to the twelve disciples said go and distribute and as they distributed it the basket kept filling up kept filling up kept filling up. five thousand men beside women and children ate that day on the Mount of Olives and they were had all they wanted and they had twelve basketfuls left over with God there is nothing impossible if God could do that with five pieces of bread, He can feed you and your family, my friend, and He'll do it. Trust Him. Don't be afraid. If you got a problem in your family, well then know this, that God is able to help that family come to a fine point and they will know where to go and what to do, but may, He'll make a way. He'll show you what to do. He'll work it out. Trust Him. Get along with Him and say, Dear God, here it is. I'm turning it over to you really turn it over to him and you'll find that the impossible can become possible oh praise the Lord may the hand of God be good upon you today to show you this is a truth and that 
you can be made over again. God can change your life. That's an impossibility. No, praise the Lord. We cannot change our lives by by studying and by by going to schools and colleges and trying to learn how to be good people. We can't do it. It takes a new birth. It takes a change of life. And God alone can do it. And He'll do it when you believe in Jesus. And therefore, you as Christians are born again. You belong to God and you're on your way home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You've got a good life before you. Walk on higher ground. Lord, lift me up. And let me stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. I praise God for this, and I long that you be on that higher ground with God. Let him lead you today and guide you and show you that he works impossibilities and brings about those things that are, are impossible. Bible says over, Jesus said, uh, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. He'll even send his angels to take care of you. The Bible says, be careful not to, to uh, be careful to entertain strangers because therein you may be entertaining angels unawares. God sends angels. Let me tell you this little incident that I read that was supposed to have actually happened here a few years ago. And I'll close with this illustration. But the Bible t t tells us that, number one, uh, we can expect God's angels. We can expect miracles. This woman had a little daughter, and she lived in an apartment. And, uh, and her apartment was in New York, and she, had, she was on the second floor. And it came time for Thanksgiving. November and it was Thanksgiving and she didn't have enough food in the house to even eat and she didn't know what in the world she was going to do. She went outside with her little daughter and they went out to, uh, to a store and to find out if maybe she could get some food and they would pay her later and they said, I'm sorry, we can't do it. And she had no food on Thanksgiving Day. So she started back. She believed in God and she said, Lord, help me. She started back into her apartment on the first floor. She was waiting to get the elevator to go up to her second floor. A woman stepped out of this apartment, first apartment, about the second apartment there from the front door. And the lady said, uh, excuse me, but said, uh, I, I wonder if, uh, if you have any plans for Thanksgiving. And she said, no. She, the woman said, well, i tell you what, I have a great table full of good food. And I'd love for you to eat with me, if you would, for Thanksgiving. Oh, she said, thank you. Praise God. She was hungry. The little daughter was hungry. So they ate a great meal together. They got up and the woman said, now then, here's some sacks. I'm going to give you food. It'll last you for several days. And she filled her up five or six sacks of good food that uh, had left over from Thanksgiving. And she said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Praise God, she said, thank you. She took the food and went on up to her apartment. The next day, she got up and she said, well, I'm going to go down there and thank that woman. And she went down there and knocked on the door. Nobody answered. She kept knocking. Nobody answered. So she went into the, to the manager's office and said, I'd like to talk to the lady there in that, in that apartment, first part. He said, lady, that apartment has not been rented for six months. It's been empty for six months. She said, well, wait a minute. I had I had dinner in there with a woman. No, you didn't. You couldn't have because that apartment is empty. He said, I'll show you. And he opened it up and it was empty. Nothing in there. No no furniture, nothing. <laughs> the woman went back to her apartment and on the knees, she thanked God for doing the impossible. An angel of God had come to give her food for her and her baby. I want you to know that the Lord is in charge. God is going to work miracles in your life. Believe Him. Trust Him and know that he's there. He's working miracles in my life. He is filling me with the Holy Spirit. He is healing me of my diseases. He is lifting me up and guiding me and keep keeping me going. He is showing me the way and he's answering prayer. Oh, praise God. He is the God of impossibilities. Thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.